With the Easter weekend just around the corner, thousands of South Africans will be travelling the roads to their favourite holiday destinations. EL24 wishes you a safe journey and urges you to take note of the following tips regarding road and vehicle safety. I know this topic has been discussed in length by so many people before. Um, it has been proven that um, not following the distances, safe falling distances and keeping to the, to the speed limit um, has a direct effect on our, the deaths on our country's roads. Um, this is a plea for everyone to, to adhere to the rules and regulations of the country and make sure that we, we keep the following distance and we keep to the, to the speed limit. I mean, the ultimate goal for us is to spend time with our families and our loved ones. And if you are going to travel, make sure that you do it safely. Whilst traveling, um, it is of utmost importance to have your young ones, your kids, fastened in, um, more specifically in a car seat. It has now been put into legislation that um, if it will be unlawful not to have kids within a safety seat. Um, but that shouldn't, that shouldn't be like a, a, a deterrent not to do it. I mean, we should have done that a long time ago. So please, you know, the, these, the kids are the, of the future. The kids are our country's future. And with us not helping them to arrive to the, uh, at their destination safely, um, the fault lies with the parents. So please make sure that your kids are back on one of the most important things when it comes to road safety is your vehicle's maintenance. Now remember, checking your vehicle doesn't have to take a day or two or cost thousands of rands. You can check your car yourself and it'll take you about 15 to 20 minutes. The first thing you need to check is probably the most easiest and simplest thing in your car. It is the oil levels. Finding and fixing an oil problem before it damages your engine can save you thousands of rands in repair costs. The best time to check your engine's oil is when the engine is warm to the touch. To check the oil, locate the dipstick. Most dipsticks will be labeled as oil. Pull out the dipstick and wipe the oil residue off the end. Replace the stick and pull it out again. This time, look at the end of the stick that was in the engine. You want the oil to be on the full line. If it is significantly below the line, take your car to the nearest shop for an oil change and ask them to look for a leak. The second thing you need to check in your car is your car's battery. If you've ever gotten into a car, turned the key and nothing happened, you'll know the importance of a car's battery. It is just as simple as changing oil. Locate the battery under your hood, lift necessary flaps if there are any, and check for residues on the two poles of the battery. If there are white flakes or buildup on the poles of your battery, make sure you get to a garage as soon as you can. The next thing you want to check on your car is your air filter. A dirty air filter means a higher fuel or diesel rate. To check your air filter is very easy. Look for the air filter under your bonnet. Raise the necessary flaps and remove the air filter. If the filter is dirty, you can easily wipe it with a clean cloth or rinse it with water. Please do remember that before you put it back, make sure that the air filter is completely dry. The next thing you want to check is your car's radiator, otherwise known as the cooling system of your vehicle. Remember that a car's engine runs at a very high temperature and to make sure that it does not overheat, you have to have enough water. To check the levels of your radiator, locate the radiator reservoir under the bonnet of your car. Please be careful when opening your radiator as you might be burned by hot water or steam. Check the levels of the water and if the levels are incorrect, add some water to the car. The next thing you need to look out for is the tires on your car, a very important and vital part of your vehicle. There are two things you need to look out for. The first is to make sure that the tread on your tire is deep enough to make it safe. The second, make sure that your tire is inflated to the correct measure and that there are no bruises or bumps on the tire. Another important part of your vehicle's maintenance is the lights. Make sure that your lights are clean and well visible. To make sure that your lights are in working order, have a friend or family member stand behind and in front of the car. While doing this, check your brake lights, your headlights, your indicators as well as your reverse lights. 
If they are not working, please consult your nearest auto electrician. Last on the list, but probably one of the most important, is your roadside kit. This kit should include a wheel spanner, a car jack, a fire extinguisher, and also triangles to indicate next to the road. Also remember to always have a first aid kit handy. Remember, no matter where you are or what time it is, remember to call 084-124 for immediate emergency response. Have a safe journey.